Okay, hello, this is a review of uh, six Star Wars figures, vintage, on various cards. You've got a Luke Skywalker on a 20-back X-Wing card. You've got a Princess Leia Vespin outfit on Return of the Jedi. And you've got Darth Vader here on the Tri-Logo card. You've got the Imperial Dignitary also on the Tri-Logo card, Power of the Force figure. You've got Barada. Power of the Force card with the coin and a Mana Man or a Mana Man, sorry. He's also on a Power of the Force Trilog sorry, Power of the Force card with a coin as well. Okay, so these cards are all vintage, they're all ungraded and they're all in various conditions. You've got some that are American, the four on this side are American and the two on this side are European releases. The Dignitary, Imperial Dignitary, he's a Power of the Force release. So the three at the bottom, they're Power of the Force figures. So these are the last figures to be released in the original vintage line around 1985. The Star Wars card that was uh, 20 back, so that came out about 1978-79. Uh, the Princess Leia, that's on a Return of the Jedi card, so that's a re-release -re figure that came out in 1983 on a Kenner card, originally it would have come out around 1981 and then the Darth Vader, this is the figure came out in 78, so it's an original one of the 12 back figures and on this card it would have come out uh, around 1983-84 and that's on the European Tri-Logo card so let's have a look at them um, individually OK, here's the Luke X-Wing Pilot on a Kenner US card 20 back with the free Boba Fett offer which is quite a common offer you find on these cards the Luke X-Wing Pilot orange outfit looks kind of like he's been eating a lot of Star Wars food, whatever they eat in a galaxy far, far away. Nice picture on the card. Luke climbing into the X-Wing for My New Hope. This is the second re release of Luke. So the first re release of Luke was uh, the Farm Boy card. This is the second release. This is Luke X-Wing. And the figure stayed the same throughout the whole vintage line. No changes to it really. And this figure is available on the Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Power of the Force card, and the Tri Logo card. So you can get this figure on all the vintage cards. Back of the 20 back card, the Boba Fett offer at the top, the figures that are available at the bottom, you've got the 8 new figures plus the original 12 figures plus two toys that you could get which is the Land of the Jawas which is a cardboard playset plus the creature container and you've got the Boba Fett offer sometimes this uh, yellow bit is stuck covered over and the picture there of Boba Fett is a mock-up so that's made out of the Death Star figure I mean not the Death Squad Commander figure and it says Boba Fett, a fearsome interplanetary Bob bounty hunter, a threat to the Rebel Alliance, especially Han Solo a new character in the Star Wars sequel and if you wanted to get this figure, it's a free offer with purchase of any four Star Wars action figures, Boba Fett not available in any stores yet purchase any four Star Wars action figures, remove a proof of purchase seal, which is that blue seal there Send seals with your name and address to Boba Fett Offer, 1 Industrial Drive, Box 2520, Maple Plain, 55348, and I guess that's Minnesota. So that's the back of the 20 back card. There's a book by uh, John Kellerman which has all the different backs and what, what, they, what type they are and stuff like that. I'll show you that, that later. And that's like 
probably the best collecting book for US cards. Okay, let's have a good look at the Luke front front of the card now. So there's Luke in his X-wing fighter outfit, holding the pistol. The Kenner logo, the Boba Fett ever offer there. I really like the picture they've used on this card. And there in the top corner you've got the Luke and Leah logo. The two silver bars of the Star Wars logo. The card still unpunched. And there's the figure. That dark brown is not his hair, it's the actual goggles. And then you've got the outfit. The detailing by today's standards was pretty limited, but at the time this was uh, quite a cool figure to get. As you can see, the bubble's dented in the corner and it's got a little pinch at the top so that's the major defect of this card is the bubble there top corner it's got a dent and a little pinch just there you can just see that white area of imperfection and then we've got Luke with his helmet it's got the rebel logo on the top the helmet is quite round and quite simple not as detailed as the helmet Luke's holding there, but it's still at least it's got the logo. The flight suit is quite undetailed. It hasn't got all the stuff that Luke's Luke's outfit has, like that metal thing on the side of his arm, plus the three or four whatever those are pens or whatever they are. But for the time, it's not a bad figure. And he only came with one accessory, which is the Han Solo blaster there, which is inserted into the hand. Nice figure still, nice card, good condition. As you can see this figure wasn't cheap, £220 is rather a lot to pay for this figure but it's not very common. I think dealers now know how much these figures are worth so they charge maximum amount. Okay, here's the Princess Leia. There's two versions of this figure. There's one with an unpainted neck, which is this version, which is called the turtleneck version. And then there's one with a neck that's painted, and that's called uh, the c uh, crew neck. And there's the picture. So this scene from Empire Strikes Back when Princess Leia is on Bespin and she's just changed into her her best bin outfit or best bin gown as it says there so on the US Return of the Jedi card again unpunched very nice condition card the card's really nice the bubble has unfortunately turned quite yellow which happens a lot with these sort of cards especially on the Return of the Jedi and Power of the Force line I think it's just because Kenner used the thicker plastic and that just ha ha has over time just changed to colour. She comes equipped with her Princess Leia pistol and the gown itself has a pattern printed onto it which isn't on the actual or maybe it is you can just see little circles on the dress there. I 
for the time a reasonable likeness and this is probably the second version of Princess Leia to be re released there then was uh, Leia on Hoff as well and then Leia on Endor plus obviously the first version which was the white Princess Leia outfit from Star Wars and to the back of this card it's a 65 back US card with all 65 figures shown you can see there's a bit of an imperfection there and most of this is just called where the bubble is attached on the other side and here's the three items that they're showing they've got the Chewbacca bondolier strap the Y-Ring fighter and the C-3PO collector's case there's the proof of purchase which is green and then it says figures made in China action figures sold separately Lucasfilm not limited 1983 and there you can see the imperfection it's like a sort of puffiness just there and then the different figures you could get the Return of the Jedi figures Empire Strikes Back and mixed with the Star Wars figures nice card overall apart from that imperfection there another view of the front of the card you've got Princess Leia not bad not bad shame about the bubble going yellow but that's very typical of these sort of cards now if you've got a palatoy version it would probably still be clear okay this is a mana man and he's a sort of minor character in Return of the Jedi one of Jabba's guards I guess of all the vintage figures this is probably the biggest quite an amazing figure I've got this on Tri logo as well this figure comes with a coin and it's on a Power of the Force card Star Wars cards in fair conditions got a few creases not too bad the bubble like the Princess Leia card Return of Jedi has yellowed quite badly but the bubble was pretty undented Ja this figure came with a massive staff with skulls, human skulls on it. You can see the skulls there, there's one there, and there's the second one just underneath. It's a great figure though. Massive hands. Looks quite like the actual character in the picture. See if we can get a good there. There's the coin. It says a man, a man. Doesn't say skiff guard at the bottom, but he is from Return of the Jedi. He has a, he's about in the film for about two or three seconds. Has been redone on the power of the Jedi line, but this is the classic figure. Okay, here's your 92 back Power of the Force 1 carded figure back. And it has special Star Wars coins, collect all 62. Now you can get a special Star Wars collector's coin with each action figure you buy. The front shows a Star Wars character, the back side tells you about his role in the Star Wars movie. Collect them all or trade them. There's nothing, never been anything like it. And you've got here a picture of Warwick the Ewok, which is a power of the force Ewok. And then it says, An Ewok warrior helps the rebels overcome the deadly scout walkers. You've got, at the bottom, you've got the last 17 figures, which are the power of the force figures. There's a man, a man, he's number 15. 
you've got number five there, which is Imperial Dignitary. Number seven, which is Barada, which I'm going to show you later. Later. Then you've got the Return of the Jedi. You've got the first release of Return of the Jedi, second release, Empire Strikes Back, and Star Wars figures. So all 92 there. The only one that's not shown is Yak Face, which was available on the Powder Force card in Canada and on Tri Logo, and he's the only one that's not shown. But he's considered one of the main characters, so you've got 93 figures to collect. Not a bad back, a bit of wear, a bit of scuffing there. Again, a green powder force pop, proof of purchase, sorry. And what else? got 1984 as the year of release. Okay, another look at Amana Man. Massive figure. If you look at the sculpting from 1978 to now, I mean to this 1985-84, it's improved so much. I mean this is a, just an amazing figure. Even loose this figure is very collectible and worth a lot. When Kenner started to re-release figures in 95 they were called Power of the Force 2 but this is the original Power of the Force line. Okay, this is a Power of the Force figure on a Tri-Logo card. This is the Imperial Dignitary, or Dignitaire Imperial. It's got it in English and French. And it's got a Palatoy sticker there. It says new figure £1.59. And so this would have been sold in England. And this is at the end of the line, so figures were reduced in price to get rid of them, get them off the shelves. The bubble is typical of tri logo, it's got it's quite dented. Especially at the top you can see where it's quite crushed. And then also dented at the bottom. The figure is rather unarticulated but it has a nice face sculpt it's quite detailed it looks quite it looks quite zombified so the articulation in this figure would be just the two arms swivel plus the two legs and the head would twist neck would twist and here we've got the picture of the imperial dignitary with, he's got red bloodshot eyes, whereas this figure's got more a greenish tint to them. Imperial Dignitary. So on these cards, Trilogo cards, they had their the names at the bottom, whereas on all the other cards, the name would be around there, just underneath the actual logo. This is Trilogo card which means that it's got the three Return of the Jedi logos in French, Spanish and English plus as it's a Power of the Force tri logo it has the barcode. All the other tri logos that do not have Power of the Force figures do not have that barcode. Again this figure card is unpunched and it's the back of the tri logo card so some people say that depending on the colour of the back, so some of these cards are very yellow and some are th more like this, a sort of yellowish with a, tint, a tinge of brown, it, it, you can say which country they're from, so they say that if it's very yellow it's a, a German card. It's got a white area there, no barcode, and then all the different European places that distribute these cards. So you've got the French Meccano, you've got the German General Mills, the Spanish PPB, 
a palatoy, which is the English one. And the back only shows 70 figures. It doesn't show any of the Power of the Force figures. And it show, doesn't show any of the figures that were available, such as Greedo, R, R5D4. Oh no, it's got R5D4. Uh, Greedo, Snaggletooth, Hammerhead and a few others that weren't put onto Tri-Logo or they were, they were put onto a single logo Tri-Logo card but more of that and the card's not in too bad condition, it's quite nice, nice picture, glossy I mean the biggest defects with this card are the bubble but like most Tri-Logos and Palatoy cards the bubble is clear because they used a thinner plastic it just tends that because the bubble size is rather large th that these bubbles tend to be creased okay here's Barada and he is a skiff guard from Return of the Jedi Power of the Force one of the last 17 Kenner card comes with a staff as a weapon reasonably good sculpt yellow bubble typical of Power of the Force and Kenner cards there's the coin Barada, Skiff Sentry nice card though, pretty pretty good condition, unpunched again here's the back of the Barada card so it's a lot better condition than the Amana Man card exactly the same though, same information as the other card OK, it's another Tri-Logo card. It's Darth Vader. And... It has the name Darth Vader and it ha also has his French name, Dark Vardoa. Bubble's pretty crushed, especially at the bottom. It's the same figure that was released on the 12 back. They didn't change this figure at all. There's a crease there, you can just see it, make it out bubbles clear again there's no £1.59 British price sticker on it so you can see clearly the three logos French, Spanish and English plus all the five languages there that say age information ok this is the first picture that they used on the Darth Vader figure when we turned the Jedi they switched it on some of the cards to Darth Vader pointing but this is the first picture so they ch changed it back on this card this figure was available on all cards so you could get on Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi Tri-Logo and Power of the Force ok this figure is quite tall comes with a lightsaber which you pull down from the arm and a black vinyl cape quite a good sculpt the figure's sort of posed in a really straight standing up way looks kind of slim it's definitely a sculpt of its time Again a couple of creases, a crease there and a crease there I, th I suspect that's where the bubble is attached Again just showing 70 figures 
and the information to do with the distribution in various U European countries, Meccano, Palatoy and so and such. Okay, the Darth Vader is quite desirable amongst collectors on Trilogo cards. Okay, it's not the best condition, but it's still a nice figure to acquire. Another look at the picture. And the name at the bottom, Darth Vader, Dark Vader, made in Hong Kong. And just a simple, one of the original 12 figures. Okay, this is a pretty battered and damaged, very damaged bubble Greedo. You can see a massive hole just there on the in the bubble. The bubble is totally attached to the card. And we've got the Greedo on what ostensibly looks like a Palatoy card. But it's actually a tri logo card. It's what I was talking about earlier that this is a one logo tri logo card, or also known to collectors as a hybrid card. And there's not many figures available on this card. There's the best, two best spin guards, the Greedo, the Snaggletooth, the Hammerhead, Cloud Car Pilot. So these are some of the more unusual carded figures. This is the back of the Greedo card. So it's got a Palatoy front and a Tri logo back. I've also posted uh, a video about the Best Bin Guard, the Black Best Bin Guard on the same type of card. There's no Greedo shown on the back nor ha Hammerhead, nor Snaggletooth, or either of the best bin guards or the Cloud Car Pilot. I think the Cloud Car Pilot is actually the most valuable one out of the lot. Okay, one more look at the Greedo. Okay, the card has lots of issues. It's got a few dents and the bubble has a couple of little holes put into it and the back of the card has a few holes as well but these are pretty rare, they don't come up often and they're known as tri-logo, one-logo or hybrid cards the figure's exactly the same as that that was released in the 1978, 79, 20 back card The tri-logo version of this figure is meant to be darker green, but this just looks like a, a normal version of the figure. Okay, so here's the tri-logo Greedo next to a loose Greedo that I just stuck on a card. They look virtually the same, there's no, not much colour difference. But there is a tri-logo version of the Greedo figure. I don't think this is it. I think this is just a regular version. Okay, the last figure I'll show you in this review is Bib Fortuna on tri-logo card. Made in Hong Kong. And there's the figure. pink lips, pink eyes, the staff at the back, cloth cape, tentacles wrapped around the clothing, bubbles not too bad, it's got a couple of indentations where the 
two massive feet have have left dents bit of crushing at the bottom as you can see there but overall not too bad a card nice variation compared to the Return of the Jedi Kenner or Palatoiva nice glossy back to the Bib Fortuna card for a sort of orangey yellow card and nothing much really to say some people say that as I said earlier that depending on the co this color the shade of yellow or almost orange or that you can say which country this comes from okay so here's a look, final look at the figures you've got the Luke on the 20 back X-Wing pilot the Force Imperial Dignitary on Tri Logo with a British £1.59 sticker. Brada on a Power of the Force card, Kenna USA with a coin. Princess Leia on the Return of the Jedi card. Turtleneck, Kenna, 65 back. Darth Vader on Tri Logo. And a man a man on power of the force with a coin so these are the six figures plus the two I just showed you the Greedo and the Big Fortuna obviously I like the, this one the best because it's the, the Star Wars card I've got an Imperial Dignitary on power of the force which is can be seen on one of my films Rada. I've only got that on Power of the Force. This I've got on Tri Logo plus another Jedi card, but this card's in a lot better condition. The Darth Vader I've got on Palatoy, Return of the Jedi, Argentine, Top Toys, Return of the Jedi. Oh, what else have I got it on? I've got on the Palatoy with a Chewbacca picture signed by Dave Powers and I've got it on the Kenner Return of the Jedi with a pointing picture your man a man I've got on Tri Logo as well the Imperial Dignitary I've got on Power of the Force and I've got another Tri Logo one but not in that, that card's not in such good condition as this one. The Luke X Wing I've got on a Palatoy Recard 20 back or 21 back plus on a Power of the Force card. One more look. I'll, I'll post individual films of each cut figure when I get more time, but I thought I'd do this review of all six plus the other two I just showed. Okay, now I'm packing the figures away. I've got five of them laying across in a box, and I've put some of the foam packing stuff there. I'll put the others in as well important to keep them as safe as you can okay time to say goodbye Darth Vader <laughs>